pull out. Okay, so I just caught um, a replay of So Gucci from Bell Collective's daughter doing a live, right? And before I say anything else, I just want to say that So Gucci, Sophia, whatever your name is, that lady is a piss poor ass mama. Ain't no way around it. She is a piss poor ass mama she's a poor excuse of a mama and in that case to me you're a poor excuse of a woman now i really wasn't a fan of so gucci from inception like as soon as she started i just you when she came on bell collective i just you know didn't see it for her and i didn't see it for her because she just immediately came out i'm so fabulous i'm just and my thing is when people when people come on to reality shows like that immediately they're full of shit. like greatness exudes out of you you don't have to speak on it you don't have to say when you're fabulous when you're rich when you got it because it just comes out right like you don't have to say when you're real it just comes out it's just a natural thing but i really started to dislike so gucci when she had that issue with latrice about this building um, that she was supposed to help Latrice get and they only had one meeting and she wasn't following through So when Latrice went to someone else, she started saying Latrice was a snake because they're friends and um You're supposed to give your friends your business, which I agree you, When your friend is running a business and you have a need for something in that business I think that you should give your friend first chance the first option to help you along with uh, your business needs, right? However, if that friend isn't doing what they're supposed to do and they they aren't uh, meeting the goals, meeting your needs, then yeah, you may have to go to someone else. So that was understandable for me when Latrice, you know, did what she had to do. And so for So Gucci them to just call her a snake, well, for So Gucci to call her a snake and try to use that as a reason to dislike Latrice, I didn't like that. And then she had the nerve to come out and admit that, yeah, when she got with JJ, she did neglect her daughter, which I thought it was her daughter, but it was a daughter and a son. So she neglected her kids in order to help JJ raise his children. Say what now? You did what helpful. And for her daughter to come out and to speak on her mother's behalf, which she should have, because that's her mom. But her daughter's life did them no justice. For me, it says that her daughter is very much so jealous of Sanjay and her sisters. And that probably wasn't even Sanjay and her sisters fault now when you have a woman that leaves her children to be with this man and help him raise their kids i don't care what nobody say that would have her children feeling some sort of resentment to those kids and possibly to that man but because they love their mother most people would hold their mother accountable and feel a way about her but then again you have those people who just who just love their mom and they just want their mom's attention. So when she was doing her live, so Gucci's daughter that is, and she was speaking on Sanjay them, oh, they're only getting favor because they was on the show and they have more followers and y'all knew them longer and y'all liked them and y'all this and that and that and that because of um, D4L, because of the show, because of Dancing Dolls. She kept repeating that. And normally when people repeat things like that, it bothers them. Like when someone says, oh, I ain't jealous of you. What you got to be jealous of? You ain't got nothing but a good job. You ain't got nothing but a, car, a nice car. Um, That's exactly what you're jealous of. The good job, the nice car, that show. When that girl said that um, Sanjay was lying on her mom and disrespecting her mom and someone asked in the comments, why did Sanjay say you asked her mom to be your mom? Oh, I just said that just to be saying it. No, baby, you said that because you meant it. Just like you said, Selena was never mean to you. Selena never disrespected you. She was very nice to you and you wanted what those girls had. It's okay to say that. 
You were a child. You were done wrong by your mama. You were left astray and you felt some type of way. Say that. Own up to it. Own it. It's fine. Those are your feelings and you were put there because of your mother. And then when she came out and said, now this is what got me with So Gucci's daughter. So now I don't like your daughter and I don't, I don't like you or your daughter. When she was on that show, this at first I felt I felt for her because when she was talking, she was like, "You didn't want me to use your soap when we were kids, and uh, and because you said I was dirty, and I felt like it was because I was dark." And with colorism and racism being such a big issue that it is in today's society, I felt for her. I was like, you know what? Them little light skinned heifers was over there mistreating that girl because she was darker than them and they were being so mean to her because she was darker than them and they had this color complex. Only for her to get on her live and say, That's not what I meant because that's not what it was. I didn't know y'all was going to take it like that. Heifer, how did you think we were going to take it? You knew exactly what you were doing. You felt some type of way about these people, about these children that are now women. You felt some type of way about them. You wanted to change the viewer's perspective of them. And so you tried to throw this colorism jab out there to make people feel that they were nasty people. To make people feel that they had a color complex. And to make people not like them. When that didn't work to your um to you to what you wanted to, you want to go back and double down on it. Well, not double down on it. You want to go back and 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 recant what you say, what you said, and say that no, it wasn't like that. I didn't mean it like that. Well, how else did you mean it? You meant it exactly like that. And now I don't even feel bad for you. Because now you just seems like you're manip you seem manipulative, very manipulative. You knew exactly what that re remark was going to do, what, what it was trying to do, what you were trying to do with it. And you knew what you were trying to put out there. Who loud. And for her to sit up and say that they were lying. But the major parts of this story, when it comes to your mom, you and those kids, your mom abandoned you to go and raise them. You asked their mom to be your mom. You felt lonely as a child. You felt neglected as a child. That ain't your fault. That's your raggedy mammy's fault. I do not see it for so Gucci. And after this, I, Lord have mercy. This is ridiculous. And the fact that these people would get on national TV and put this out about themselves. Anything for a like and a view. <laughs> Anything to be seen on TV, to be popping on social media. You want to embarrass yourself and your family like this. Sophia should be ashamed of herself. Who loud.